Welcome back to the Art of Lang Show. Amazing chef Jeff Morrow's here. Oh, God. Uh, from the Sandwich Show. Yes. And The Kitchen. The Kitchen. Both on the Food Channel Network. Sandwich Food Network. King, food Network. I'm finishing the up. Kitchen. Explain what I'm finishing up again. You hear that breaded steak sandwich with the uh, oh, delicious no. burp. I, oh. So there's nothing like a breaded steak burp mm. that wafts in my face mm. on that current of air. <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, so we got the breaded steak, that roasted red pepper sauce. Gorgonzola, homemade focaccia, done. Oh, man. Three ingredients, and I got another one for you there, too. Now, here we go. We're going to look at a clip. I'm going to just let this digest, because I'm going to go for the mortadella slider right after this. But we got a clip now from the kitchen. Mm -hmm. And this is a show. It's a panel show. Yes. Okay. Well, it's like five of us. We, sh you know, we have a nice time. It's like The View, but only cool. Yeah. Okay, here we go. <laughs> With. All right, we got our cocktail in hand. It is time for Into It or Over It. Oh, God. Hey. Jeffrey, we're starting with you, big man. I am actually into your socks, Jeff, today. They're just, I mean, look at those things. <laughs> well, those hey, are incredible. You know, <laughs> and I am over people not wearing socks. I just don't like that trend. All right, I am into rib tips. I think it's the <laughs> most underrated barbecue. Uh, and I'm totally over pepper grinders, pepper mills. It's exhausting when there's cross-contamination, and especially if you're using raw ingredients. I grind my own, leave it in a little ramekin, do it weekly. Nice. Wow, yeah. so this is opinions. Yeah, opinions. <laughs> now, who's, now the, who's the older gay guy? <laughs> <laughs> he, is, he is straight as an arrow. Nah, he looks like he gets a lot of broads probably, right? Yeah, he's, you know, he's, he's, it's Jeffrey Zakarian. He's, he's a legend. Yeah. You know? he's, he's worked everywhere. So. Probably does very well. He does very well. <laughs> okay, he's so a great I, friend. Explain what I'm about to eat right here, a mortadella slider. So that's got uh, slowly grilled mortadella, which kind of renders and crisps up the fat in there. And like I said earlier, uh, oh mortadella is seven. It's like Italian bologna mm. with pistachios, chunks of fat in there. It's a seven, seven to three ratio, seven parts pork, three parts fat. Oh, my God. And that's on a, a little slider bun with some melted Havarti cheese. Now, you say you went, went to the Today Show and you make these sandwiches. And yeah. the worst insult, they don't eat it. Well, you know, they, they're, they're, there's there's no time. Al Roker takes one bite, give me a break. Like, you know, he's in the back eating a piece of sheet, <laughs> eating a piece of sheet rock with a, you know, <laughs> with some gravy on it. And that's and why it's so it refreshing. Back up. It's so nice being here. I mean, you demolished that first sandwich. That was That's how you eat a sandwich like that. What am I, what, what am I going to do? <laughs> so that's uh, simple, like three ingredients, and you put some chips on there for some But if Al Roker's not going to eat it, who's going to eat it? I, I don't buy the, the Al crew. Roker thin thing. I think he's throwing it up. I tried that. I think he's still <laughs> really? I think he's still shoving food down his throat. Uh-huh. And then doing the old aging. Ah, ah. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Which, you know, God bless him. They say that doesn't work. He got really mad at me. I, I, I roasted Jack Black and he was on the dais uh, <clears throat> at the Friars Club. <laughs> and, uh, oh my loot. god, I'm sorry. It's amazing. A um, chainsaw. And I said to him, <laughs> it's, like, it's like a bad motor. <laughs> how do you think the, how do you think the guy in the suit and that and those socks would <laughs> <laughs> the guy who hates no socks. Uh, if I was in that guy, you know what he was going to be? I want to be in that guy's living room when he wakes up one day. It's a joke. I'll be in no shoes or socks <laughs> eating this more at the <laughs> uh, Who are you? Is the cable out? What's going on? Uh, no, but Al Roker was at this roast, and I think I really aggravated him because it's a roast, you know. Yeah, anything's But I said, uh, I, I said that, uh, look at Al Roker. Uh, Oprah Winfrey has cuter uh, skin tags. <laughs> <laughs> The old skin tag angle. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Every he, got, time. he gave me an attitude. But does he have skin tags, though? Oh, but <laughs> if Oprah went for a skin tag, it would look a lot like our Oka. Right. <laughs> right. Um, uh, um, so you're going to demo how you made these sandwiches Yes, yeah, so of course. It's so easy. It really is. I mean, nothing I'm doing is is that difficult on the show. And that's no, the it is difficult. You should give yourself more credit. This is, this is a piece of Americana. For a New Yorker, it's difficult. All right. What does that mean? Now, Dan seems to be uh, starting an argument with you, like condescending. Well, Dan you. and I bonded in the back. About where, what? You know, just, uh, he's a Chicagoan. Is he still, he's eating thin he, New how York long sauce. Did it, how long did it take Dan to tell you he knows Bill Murray? Uh, <laughs> I'm going to go with it. What's, what's the over-under Did on I that? even mention him? <laughs> Three seconds. No. No, he didn't mention Bill Murray. Here's, how, here's Dan's move, and I've seen people do this with her. He goes, wait, I mean, Billy, we were down at the, uh, at the uh, restaurant, and then it forced you to go, who's Billy? <laughs> it forced somebody to say, who's Billy? And they go, oh, Bill Murray's your fan. Long story, I don't even know. Uh, you know, he baits you. He baits you. But uh -huh. um, uh, Dan seems to be, he's very protective of Chicago. Yeah, I and know how that feels, man. Spending no. a lot of time here with New Yorkers and right. still living at home, you know, in Chicago. <laughs> you know, there's always, and with the whole Jon Stewart deep dish feud and everything, you know, oh. it was, 
It's a hot topic for a while. Now, a lot of defend, defending going on. Do you see the Bill de Blasio, our new mayor, was eating pizza with a knife and fork, and he got a lot of... I mean, he's still getting crap that's from a, New Yorkers. Do you think that's a, a big no-no? Would you give him crap for that? No, I mean, it, but because you, you guys, guys expect everybody. Dish. Yeah, I mean, but we don't eat deep dish pizza. I have deep dish once a year. It's like a Thanksgiving turkey. I mean, really? how often are you in a Thanksgiving turkey? Yeah. It's, it's, it's such a <clears throat> gut bomb, and it takes an hour and a half to get to your house. Or if it you go, go out and eat, it takes 49 minutes to get to the table. Right. So we, we have our who, our, eats, who eats deep dish? Tourists. Tourists, exactly. From New York. All right, I don't know. I, I never had a deep dish <laughs> Uh, Dan told me the best Italian restaurant is Rosebud or something. Rosebud, yeah. no, it's not Rosebud. It's well, it's one of them. <laughs> That's what Dan says. No, favorite. no, I hate Rosebud. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Oh wow! All right, calm down. Yeah, all right, Jeez. all right. We're gonna take a break. Appreciate it. We're gonna stop the Chicago hostility. It's crazy. I think the fellas own Rosebud, so calm down. I think Frank Nitty's over there. <laughs> uh, we're gonna take a break. I'm gonna finish the mortadella, and I want to see what's for dessert. The Arnie Lang Show. Welcome back to the Audio Lag Show. Jeff Morrow's here. Big compliment. My mother, my Italian mother's watching at home live. She goes, that food looks amazing, but you're going to gain 20 pounds. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> like, you're like, she's got nothing to do with that. Uh, yeah, so. Uh, <laughs> I'm the only guy. I'm the only guy making it big. That's it. Uh, but uh, no, this really is good stuff. We got um, we got a, a bunch of uh, phone callers here. Uh, let's just see what this guy. Tim on the audience network in Michigan. You've been calling him. What, what, what's the catch? He has a catchphrase for the show. Tim. Oh, Tim. Tim. <laughs> Turn your TV off, Tim. I don't know this guy. Yeah, I'm here. Oh, yeah, I'm mean, sorry to bug you. <laughs> What's your catchphrase? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, the catchphrase is uh, hanging with Lang and the gang. <laughs> Like Hanging that. with Lang and the gang. Can you see my face on TV? It's not bad. Can you see my face on TV? Yes, sir. <laughs> uh, all right. Great one. <laughs> Hanging with Lang and the gang. Now, we'll, we'll take that under consideration. Uh, hey, also, I get the gout every once in a while, and I take a product or a, a, a medication called Aproxen. Yeah. Aproxen for the gout. Now, Jeff, now you're a, a chef. You probably have caused a lot of gout. I do. I Is my, that... My dad and my father-in-law both have gout. Oh, really? Yeah. Now, is uh, what do you what do they take for it? Is he right? Is my father-in-law right? can't take that medication, so he drinks cran, uh, cran cherry juice. Oh. Cherry juice and cherry extract. And my my, well, my dad just deals that. with it. Mike has the gout, but Mike spilled cranberry juice on his sports jacket today. <laughs> <laughs> you, home, that's like, what you did. Yeah, I'm a spastic. How'd you do that, Mike? I was like, this is gonna help me. I'm like, and I'm like, oh no. So you were drinking <laughs> no, cranberry it's cherry juice? juice? Cherry though. juice. Cherry juice. Well, my mom has loved juice at home. I tried cranberry. So your mother gave you the wrong gout juice? I don't know. Yeah. Well, maybe she, not on purpose. See, Mike is 52. Yeah. He lives at home. He has the gout. Can you think of a more pathetic scene? 52 years old, you have the gout, and your mother gives you the wrong type of juice for it. If she's feeding him directly the wrong type of juice, I don't think you get any worse than that. And then he spills it on his $2 sport jacket. His one sport jacket. Yeah. Mike, there's some things you need to work on. Everybody needs work on it. You're right. That's You're true, right about buddy. that. Absolutely. You're ab, yeah. Jeff, uh, stick around. You're going to do a lot more here. Definitely. Uh, we appreciate this. Is, this is one of my great. favorite guests ever. Oh, my God. Jeff Morrow. <laughs> back better. after this. I'm going to go crap out the more today. <laughs> <laughs> the Artie Lang Show. Weeknights on Audience. Only on DirecTV.